Welcome, shall we observe the sun? Starting off today with the Stereo A Core 2 filter. It is always a few days behind, but I thought you would enjoy the large solar flare observed on the 12th. Observed on this LASCOC2 filter, is an M1.8 solar flare from the 14th, and today the 15th AC 4.3 classified flare that was at an angular width of 98 degrees which means it was almost a complete halo eruption. Now a look at the flares, through the LASCOC2, and C3 filters. Using this seeds filter, we get a better perspective, of the solar flares from the 14th, to the 15th. I'll loop it once. Observed on this CME model, the flare from the 14th is mapped. Stereo B, and Venus are in the path of the flare from the 14th and looks as though Venus will obscure the Earth from most of the flare's impact on the 16th. On this solar flare classification chart, the flares and their classification from the last three days can be observed. Lately the Sun shows eruption activity in waves, spaced out in a few days at a time. On this HMI intensity map, nine sunspot regions, are on the Earth-facing side of the Sun. Here is a look at the active areas of the sun, that are mostly positioned over the sunspot regions. Filter used is SDO-171. This is the position of the planets today. And as always, sit back, relax, and let me keep my eye on the sun for you.